Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you a simple way to transfer all your information from your Android phone onto an iPhone. So if you're switching over, this is the video for you. The first thing you gotta do though, before you do this, is you gotta make sure your Android has Wi-Fi connected to it. Your iPhone, if it's brand new, you obviously can't connect to Wi-Fi yet, so leave it on the home page, basically the factory setting. And if you've already set it up and you're on the home screen, we will have to reset it. I'll show you how to do that to get us back to basically getting it to the same version as it was when it was out of the box. Next, Apple recommends that both these devices are plugged into power. I'm at 100%, so I'm gonna try this without power, but it is recommended they're both plugged in so the phones don't die in the middle of doing the transfer. So as I mentioned, the process has been the same, so I'll just use an older iPhone here to show you how it works. The very first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we reset our iPhone if we already set it up for some reason. If you're in the factory setting, basically the welcome screen, you don't have to do this step, but I do in my case. So I have to go to the settings app here. I need to go down to general and I need to go down here and I need to press reset and reset all content and settings, erase everything. That will basically make this a brand new phone if I do this. It will erase everything on this phone, so be sure that that's okay. Now this process may take a little bit of time, so let it finish up, then I'll show you the next step. Now this is the home page of the iPhone here, and if you just buy your phone, and if you just opened it out of the box, you are already on the screen, so you didn't have to do the previous step. This is for people that already set up their iPhone, you do have to bring it back to this step. Okay, now the next step after this is we need to go ahead and make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on on this phone. So I already made sure I have my Wi-Fi set. So do the same thing there. Then you need to download a free app on your Android. So I'm gonna go to the App Store or the Google Play Store here. And there's an app called Move to iOS. So you do have to install this on your Android here. So make sure you install this app and open it. Press continue agree and I'm gonna give it access to everything so it would actually move everything over here okay now we're gonna wait and go back to the iPhone here let's go ahead and set this up now so this is just the usual setup that you would choose for your region connect to the same Wi-Fi that this is set to and then go ahead and continue the setup process here I'm just gonna do everything later in this case I'll set up touch ID later and I should finally get to this page where I want to choose move from Android, but I have to make sure this was set up before I do this. So once I press this on here, now I could go ahead and press continue. I just have to make sure we're on the same page here. Press continue. I'm gonna get a code. I need to type in that code on my Android now. So I'll type in this code and then press continue on this one and then I'm gonna agree, so I'm gonna press connect. That's why it's important they're both on the same Wi-Fi network here. And then you should get to this page in a second. So do I wanna transfer my Google account, my camera roll, everything? I'm gonna agree, so I'm gonna press continue on that, and then it's gonna transfer everything over. Now this may take a little bit of time, so let this process finish, and then I'll come back and let you know how long it took for me. And in my case, it took about seven minutes here and the transfer is complete, but it may take much longer than that. So just wait till you see transfer complete on this and on this, they may show up at different time. And back on the iPhone here, I'm just gonna set continue to set up the iPhone. And then you will go through the usual setup process here using your Apple ID to sign in. And then the rest of it will be pretty straightforward for setting up any new iPhone. Now, the last time I made this video, a couple of questions that were asked were, does everything transfer over? Like my messages from WhatsApp, do they transfer over? And typically everything does transfer over like that. They're connected to those accounts anyway. So the things that are connected to your account, like your Instagram account, your WhatsApp account, do transfer over. Some of the paid apps though, and some apps that are not compatible, obviously, are not gonna get transferred over. And some of the other things that did not transfer over were your phone number did not transfer over. So if you wanna do that, you can try to eject the SIM card, I'll show you. For example, this Android has a SIM card tray right here, so you could go ahead and eject it. And you could just use basically anything like a paper clip, like I have one of these paper clips here. So you could push this in and it should eject this tray. And then you could take out the SIM card and put it into your phone. 
The only problem is when you do that, a lot of times they're not compatible because this may be locked to this phone or the iPhone may have it locked to their phone. So sometimes it doesn't work. That's why I don't usually include that in my videos of transferring the SIM card. And usually it's best to call your cell phone carrier to make sure you do that process. But it's worth a try. It doesn't hurt to take your SIM card out eject the SIM card tray of your iPhone and then just swap them out and see if it connects your service. If it does, it will just do it when you do the SIM card transfer. If it doesn't, you'll have to call your cell phone carrier and activate your new SIM card with that phone. A lot of times they're locked to that carrier. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time.